hello everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video so today i am going to be testing out a couple of new things i've got something that i have wanted to try on my channel for so long um and i thought today would be a great day to do it because why the hell not so i am going to be testing out this game of thrones palette testing out meaning i'm just gonna use it because i haven't used it in so long and when it came out i absolutely love this palette but then a lot of people did not like it and i'm not sure why i mean i've watched a few reviews on people talking about it and everything i understand why because this is this is a chunky boy um but yeah i just wanted to like use it because why not and i'm gonna go a little bit over the top with the makeup so i thought why the hell not um but yeah let's just get everything kind of started like i said i've got a couple of new products i wanted to try as well um so yeah i wanted to like moisturize first and i just wanted to show you guys that i've been loving this moisturizer recently because my skin is like super dry and it's super sad at the moment i'm trying to drink as much water as i can because we are in difficult times here and I'm, I don't know if I mentioned what well, I mentioned it in my kind of one of my recent videos that I've been working out like every morning this week now. So it's been five days since I've been like doing a bit of a workout regime basically like every morning before my breakfast obviously because you know working out is always the best time to do it is in the morning. Um, so obviously before you've eaten anything and everything and so I'm drinking more water but the hydration I don't know if it's getting to me as much as it could be um I guess I'm not getting any sun because I haven't really left the house um and yeah but this moisturizer is super nice um I got this in like a little goodie bag I got when I went to a super drug event last year um it's basically simple yeah protecting moisturizer I know it's an SPF as well uh, but it's super cute. I think this is just like a tester version. There are like actual versions that you can buy obviously uh, but, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys in case your skin is not doing so great at the moment and you need just so extra moisture um, I mean, this is an SPF 15 so its protection is not as strong um, But yeah, I thought I would just show you that I'm gonna use my MUA Pro Base um, primer and then I'm gonna go into a new foundation that I um, that I found today actually because I was like oh let's go and do a bit of shopping because you know we're not we haven't run out of food obviously but I also kind of just needed to leave the house I haven't left the house since Monday um and now today is Friday um so obviously I was just like I need to get things into gear because I, like I mentioned every day I start my new job on Monday so I need to be prepared so I won't have much time to do anything else um so yeah, I'm primed. And so the new foundation, I have a big, not a big super job, but I have a super job right next to where I live. Um, and I walked past and I thought, well, let me see what's there. And obviously in the makeup section and collection have a new foundation out. I mean, this is so strange because I didn't know that they were releasing a new foundation and they have a new concealer as well, which I didn't get. Um, but yeah, this is a 16 hour wear. This looks like, um, like a L'Oreal kind of um, packaging it's well, not glass but it's kind of like glass slash plastic um, and yeah this is apparently a six in one so this is um, primes conceal covers soothes protects and mattifies that's a lot <laughs> um, water resistant transfer proof full coverage no clogged pores I mean that's a lot for a foundation um, and I got the shade Fire Fair. Um, there was no testers, obviously, because of everything happening right now. Um, but I thought, you know, this could match me. I'm quite a light person. They had like extra fair and then they had fair. So I thought if I try fair, I mean, it's not going to be hopefully too bad. So I thought I'd just give that a go for you guys. So I'm going to, obviously I haven't used it. I literally just got back. So I'm just going to see what a couple of pumps are gonna do so I've just got that let's have a look I'm very intrigued and I was quite surprised that there were some new um, makeup products out because I'm not sure how much like deliveries Superdrug are getting and boots in general um, I mean this seems to be quite a good match obviously you guys know I'm like pale as a ghost um, oh and also this is actually 3 dollars at the moment so when I saw it 
it was like oh normally six seven pounds and I was like I'm not gonna get it but then there was like a massive sign above it that was like oh introduction price oh getting in my hair introduction price of like 3 99 and I was like yes I'm gonna try this because this obviously looks like it might last quite a while especially if I'm not really going anywhere but I could possibly be using this in like most of my videos now because I need a new foundation to test out um, and just to wear in general instead of like using the same ones again and again um, I mean so far it's doing fine don't have any problems it's quite a thick um, foundation as well yeah it's looking quite nice I mean again I look like Casper but that's nothing new um, I keep on getting foundation in my hair and that's why I look like I have so much white hair even though I do anyway but that's not the point we're testing out foundation when it's all about my hair <laughs> in the problems um but so far that seems to be quite nice there's no I mean I'm a bit oily anyway but that's nothing new on that aspect so yeah I mean that's quite nice um nothing else I can really say about it to be honest I'm getting my hair everywhere um how do we look? We look fine. We look we look fine. Apart from my hair sticking to it, let's try and get rid of that annoyance. My hair is such a mess. Okay, so yeah, that foundation, pretty good. We'll see how it lasts throughout the video. I'm not going to do a 16 hour wear test because I will literally be sitting upstairs in my room probably watching Disney Plus knowing me. So yeah, I mean at the moment it's $3.99 if you want to get it. I'm sure Superdrug are still doing deliveries or even if you're just popping to Superdrug, it's $3.99 at the moment. You can't go wrong, so that's quite nice. And I also have a new setting powder. I've had this for ages and I wish I kind of used it earlier, but I guess now is the perfect time for it. It's the Maybelline matte maker it is um yeah a mattifying powder i've got this in the shade 30 neutral beige and i was like why is this rattling around before i even opened it and then i realized that it's it's come out of the pan um and that is nasty i know that's like glue <laughs> but which is it's very annoying because obviously i haven't even opened it and now it's like broken so i have to be quite careful but i'm just going to put this on obviously to set my face i'm using my standard kabuki brush because this is what I feel is quite beneficial for me it like sets everything in for me um, I actually got this before like lockdown essentially and I don't know I kept on like every video I look at it and I'm like oh should I use you today and I thought let me save you before another day and I guess like I said just now today is probably the best time to use it and so far it's not too bad. I need to like double mattify my oily my <laughs> my oily areas, just so we aren't looking horrible for the duration of this video. So that's not bad. I think this was also like three four pounds. Um, again, super drug. I got this ages ago, so very nice. I'm just gonna put on um my usual kind of um blush <laughs> and highlighter. I'm just using. Heartbreakers, one of my favourites from February. It's a nice little blush that I like to use just to brighten up my face, even though I have my rosacea to brighten up my face. We don't need we don't need to see that right now. Um, and I'm just gonna add in my favorite one of my favourite highlighters. I use this all the damn time. Uh, my wet and wild. And she's just going in the usual places. Right. And so we are going to be testing out the Game of Thrones palette. Now, what I mean testing out, I mean, we're just going to have a look because I have missed using it. I know it's big. I know it's a pain in the bum. Um, but it is pretty awesome. I mean, I got this um, from Selfridges um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you haven't seen it before, I mean, if you like makeup, you would have seen it before. But this is the outer case. Um, and this is the back of the case as well. So obviously you see all the shades. And when it came out, it was um, also a blusher, highlighter set and a couple of lipsticks. I really wanted a lipstick, but they didn't have them um, at the time. So that's not the end of the world. But also when you open it, it is pretty cool because I, I haven't opened this in ages. But it comes with a little throne. 
like an iron throne which is pretty awesome i don't know what the hell you can put in there or what you <laughs> what you could do with it but it's pretty amazing um and yeah i love this i really loved game of thrones um i'll be talk i'll just talk more about it when i put on the makeup but yeah you basically get this massive throne but then you get like because obviously it's in the shape of a book and then you get the palette itself which i think is so gorgeous i'm going to put this aside because i don't need it right now um but yeah you get all of these shades and i think when it came out it was like 50 pounds or something like that i got it a bit cheaper but um i do still believe you can buy it like you can get it on like debenham's website or you can like get it on even the selfridges website or just anywhere i guess but i love the like the shade selection is a bit random honestly like i have been using a bit of it you can see there's a couple of dents in them I haven't used it recently i used it more like last year when it came out um but i thought today let's just do a look because <sighs> life's too short life's too short to not love makeup and put on a lot of makeup i might go for like a darker look today <laughs> what a surprise um but yeah let's do it i'm gonna cut my crease as well because we're looking glam we're gonna be glam um so let's do it let's start off with a nice matte shade we're gonna start off with um lannister red which is this one just here and i got my mirror today so we are going we are all in we are in with everything today so let's start off with putting her in the crease but yeah when um game of thrones came out i missed like the first season on telly because it, I think it always happens when unless because I haven't read the books and I didn't know about the books when they came out um, but I think if you're in the know with certain things um, you catch them on easier but I didn't actually watch Game of Thrones like following it until like the second season and that's not too bad because I know a lot of shows people are like <laughs> they start watching it way into it but I mean there's nothing wrong with that at all um, but yeah, I really enjoy Game of Thrones. Like, I haven't really watched it since it's finished just because it's so damn long. Um, and honestly, when I first started watching it, it was I'm that kind of person where if there's too many characters, I can't keep up. I'm just like, why? Who is this person? What are you doing here? Why are you here? Um, but essentially, when I really got into it, I did really enjoy it. Um, I don't know what house I'm in. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not like, you know, the whole Harry Potter things. Like, oh, what house are you in? And I'm like, I don't care. I just watch it. <laughs> I just enjoy it. And I just, yeah, I like the characters. And each season I had a favourite character and then they just all died. So I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> and I know, you know, um, George R. R. Martin is known for like killing off like everyone's favourite characters and doing this and that but I you know the show itself was you know amazing and gorgeous and um just great storytelling and one day I might listen to the audiobooks because I am not a good reader like I I can't finish a book to save my life um and if I was to read a book it would probably take me about five years just to finish it so there's no point <laughs> in me actually trying to read it so I've just piled on um, Lannister Red and that's a really nice gorgeous kind of dark brown and it looks kind of for me it looks a little bit like a bit red in the pan but when you put it on it's like a dark brown um, and yeah I'm going to cut the crease now because I am addicted to doing it now it's quite fun um, because it will just emphasise the colours and just make everything look gorgeous so we're using again our Heartbreakers palette and we're just gonna cover the lid because that's what we're doing I don't know what shade to go in next it's something that will complement see that's one thing I hate about having really closed um like eye like eyelids you cannot see for love or money what I'll be doing but that's fine right that is my crease cut. <laughs> I know a lot of people um, do like a couple of colours and then cut the crease, but I'm just like, I'm not that advanced, I'm sorry. Um, but let's see what we should go in with next. I might try um, Weirwood Leaves, which is this one just here. Um, again, it's quite similar to Lannister Red, but it's actually a shimmer. So we're gonna, we're gonna use her next. 
let's do it my is it dry no but i guess it it benefits a bit more from it being still a bit wet let's hope so yeah we got her on the brush we're going to put her in the corner um okay i don't know if it's like that because of why is this looking a bit weird this is not coming out as the right color okay this is actually much darker than i anticipated but that's all right there's no shimmer like in that at all it's a bit weird and i'm trying to prove to you guys this palette is good and i'm not doing very well by doing it but that's okay we're gonna go on to this side and blend her in here as well we'll try and use quite a few colors today because why not we look crazy we'll look weird but that's fine all right so that is uh weirwood leaves just into the corners and then we're gonna go in with another one let's go in with um winter is here just here so i'm going in with some darker shades and i know a lot of people um are like oh my god game of thrones is like my favorite show of all time blah 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 yeah i really i really did enjoy the show but it is not one that i will be watching again and again and again because i mean yeah it's great it's entertaining it's amazing but it's not it's not i mean it's probably in my top 10 list it's not in my top five um and i know a lot of people are like oh blasphemy la 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 but i mean this is weird like my favorite show of all time is nip tuck i don't know if anyone's ever heard of it i know a few people i know have heard of it um is basically about a couple of plastic surgeons who um are basically yeah they're plastic surgeons and they um they go through a lot of shit and i think it is one of the greatest shows ever made it's so underrated it went on for about six seven seasons um and it is just it's great i love it i that is a show that i could watch again and again and also something like breaking bad which is like an obvious choice that's like my number two show of all time it's so freaking good it is just episode after episode is just freaking awesome and i know a lot of people who watch breaking bad will know that it's so good because every episode is just amazing um so i've put winter is here in the corners just here and i'm going to do like something in the middle it's like people call it a halo eye yeah i'm gonna do that so i might use one of these because i know these are supposed to be like inner corner highlighter shades um i'm gonna go in with hard home which is this one here and we use a very tiny brush because oh you're not going oh, i've got it on the actual plastic that's fine let's see if this looks good because oh it is it is very shimmery wow um but yeah, if you haven't heard of Nip Tuck, it is, it's so great. It's so, um, it's basically just, there's a couple of, there's a couple of episodes like here and there that I would happily like skip over, but each season is amazing. I think my favourite season is like the third one where they have the carver, that there's a killer going on the loose um, and they basically are just trying to kind of figure out who it is. I mean, they're not police or anything, they're just plastic surgeons um and they are basically kind of giving free plastic surgery to people who get affected by the carver and it is just it's just great tv basically i'm just going to use my finger to go in that's much better i'm not gonna dab my hand too much into it because it's gonna dent it um but oh that's nice i'm gonna do something on my lower lash line as well just to kind of make it a bit zazzy i don't know which one um i might go into lannister red again just slightly so it doesn't um look sad and it's not um why am i oh my god i looked at this like i thought there was a mirror <laughs> i'm like oh yeah i look great <laughs> wow i am i'm losing it that's what isolation is doing to me it's making me go crazier um so we're gonna go lower lash line yeah so um but yeah, check out Nip Tuck. It's it's great. Um, it's a I think it's like a HBO. No, it's not. I don't think it is. No. Um, but it's a great 
great show. It's actually by the same guy who I believe did American Horror Story, which is pretty crazy. Um, obviously, he's well known for American Horror Story now, but Nip Tuck is chef's kiss. I love it. It's great. Um, right, so going back on to Game of Thrones, the last season, um, I thought it was good. I liked it. I mean, it wasn't the greatest season because, you know, it's it was rushed. There were not as many episodes and you would hope that a show like Game of Thrones, it's the last season and we need the impact, we need the episodes to get people remembering and not hating. And I think what ended up happening was people were expecting too much and it just, and every right, you know, everyone deserves to kind of, you know, get an epic end to the, one of their favourite shows, like one of the coolest shows ever. Um, but I guess when they didn't get it, everyone was just like, this is my opinion, blah, 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 blah. But you can't please everyone. And that's just how it goes. Anyway, um, that is my eyes done and using about four shades. That's pretty cool. I still love this palette. I would probably, maybe later on, in the future I'll do another look with maybe some of the other colours as well but I'm just going to finish this look off with um, the NYX Butter Gloss in Ginger Snap. Very nice and we're coming to the end of this video because I realise that my videos are too damn long and I talk too much so let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Well I, remembers what, I remember why I don't like lip glosses. So I don't know why I chose to wear this today, but it smells nice. <laughs> it actually smells of cookies. Uh, ugh. This is not an appealing lip gloss at all. Uh, I don't think I'll be using this in the future. This is so patchy and not very, not very appealing, but that's okay. But we have come to the end of this video and my look, and I really like this. It's very um, in your face. The foundation, I really like. I will be using this in the future. Um, the powder, pretty standard. You know, when it comes to setting powders, it, it can't go wrong unless it is very streaky, but everything seems to be fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys um, have enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good weekend. I'll be back tomorrow with something random, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.